I'm here at the Prince George Ballroom for the first gentleman's vintage clothing store and sale in downtown Manhattan. 20 of the nation's top designers display items ranging from military jackets and cowboy hats to cufflinks and tweed suits. For 10 years, Manhattan Vintage has presented clothing shows for men and women. This is the first year the show will feature only men's clothing. We take you there now to meet some of the vendors. My name's Gabriel Roman. I'm 35. Okay, and can you tell me a little bit about your business? Um, yeah, it's, I started um, collecting as a teenager and buying, and um, it was a way for me to make money. I mean, how has the show been going for you so far? This is our first men's only show, because we do um, do women's also. Um, it's been really good. It's been a nice turnout. It's been great that I've been able to just show my men's stuff instead of having sharing the space with women's as well. Um, women do shop more, so <laughs> I do miss um, the shopping of the ladies, but... Um, it's been good. It's been a fun show, and it's been great to see everybody else's stuff, because a lot of um, the vintage shows that we end up doing, there's not a lot of people just doing, showing men. So it's been great. I've been able to shop. I found the jacket I've been looking for for four years, so, <laughs> yeah. My name is Jay Gerald, and my business name is Jay Gerald Jantz Vintage, and um, I am 75 years old. My profession is a fashion and textile designer, and in the autumn of my years decided that I would like to uh, do vintage uh, clothing and thought that men were neglected and I should go provide for men. Would you say um, just because for men it's more classic, that's why you, you're drawn to like, you know, the men? Um, I, uh, it's it's true. It's it's more classic, uh, out of demand. Oftentimes, it your 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 wear was determined by your job or whatever. And so, they, why the navy blue? Why the gray? Why the pinstripe? Why the tweed? Um, the, the 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 sort of naturally you don't see reds and whatever until nowadays. The, the fun and, days. Um, have you enjoyed this show so far? Or? Oh, this show. This show is. I well, excuse me. I, I, I use a lot of slang, but uh, this is the bomb. People from all backgrounds showed up for the two-day event. Terry asked one shopper what attracted him to the show. Would you say, like, for men, it's harder to find like that eclectic, like, special thing? Uh, it can be. I think it can be, and especially at certain price points to go to. Um, sort of major stores and find things uh, so you don't just look like everyone else, but uh, also it doesn't necessarily break the bank. Um, and instead of just shopping secondhand, you can end up looking like you're running around in costume gear. So at shows like this, the stuff is really curated well, and uh, you can kind of integrate it into more modern pieces as well as the vintage stuff that you like. Can you just tell me how you've been enjoying this? Show so far? Yeah, it's it's great. Um, I came here because I wanted to uh, do some research on like 1860s uh, men's clothing, um, but I've been finding a lot of like 1970s gems, and I found this kid's um, costume from like the turn of the century. So it was yeah. Reporting from the Prince George Ballroom, this is Terry Chow for New York City News Service.